Hey, sim racing fans, today we're going to be talking to you about the new fake, sort of, Ford racing vehicle. It's called the Ford Zilla. And basically, Ford themselves put together a digital car for sim racing. They haven't announced which games this is going to be on. They haven't announced if it's going to be on Forza, if it's going to be released on the new Gran Turismo or GT Sport. They haven't really announced anything at all if it's going to be on Project Cars, but Project Cars doesn't really do any uh, basically prototype cars as far as I have seen so far. So what this is telling me is this is a car that is produced by Ford digitally to be put into probably one of the newer games that are coming around pretty soon. So what does this tell us? Well first off if this car is in Gran Turismo 7 then it's probably going to be the direct competitor to the Dodge SRT Tomahawk which is currently the fastest car in Gran Turismo Sport. Now finally we have a car that's probably going to rival that, uh, that amazing Dodge but what does this mean? What does this really mean for car manufacturers? This is how my mind goes. My mind doesn't go with, oh, that's kind of cool, they made a nice little digital car, whatever. What this tells me is maybe car companies are starting to really, I guess, branch off. Obviously, they've been making real cars for a long time, and they're struggling to get into the electric car market because Tesla is absolutely murdering them right now. So... They're probably now trying to feather, I guess, out and try to touch different markets. Maybe they're, they could try to license this car to different video game makers. That's a possibility. Obviously, we all know there's prototype cars that actual like car manufacturers make anyways. There's Bugatti who makes their prototypes for Gran Turismo. Dodge and so many others. Volkswagen. They all kind of make their prototypes. But for this to hit actual mainstream news because I actually seen this on the news today today but I'm posting this tomorrow so yesterday kind of makes me wonder why and how it made mainstream news because usually sim racing and racing games in general don't get that kind of publicity and obviously I wanted to try and do some research and be like hey is this actually happening or is this just the news station being like hey we have some fake news um, it's actually probably happening 99.99% .99 because GT uh, online uh, actually says that it's happening so that's kind of cool so GT Planet, like I just mentioned, their article headline says Ford reveals the ultimate virtual racer Team Ford Zilla P1 concept. And then they also released a video. Ford released a video, <laughs> and it's playing behind me if you haven't figured that out. So they haven't announced what the strength or power of this car is. They've uh, they've basically announced what it looks like. So maybe they're leaving it up to the the gaming manufacturers to say what it's going to have but if I know a car manufacturer uh, as well as I do uh, which is Ford I have multiple family members who work for Ford um, they haven't said anything I have asked them they haven't said anything about this car yet but for me knowing how Ford works they're going to want to say it's going to have this much power, it's going to have this much uh, this much torque, it's going to be this much weight in the front and the back, it's going to have this kind of a grip on the wheels, and they're really going to go in depth. And of course, they are a company that uh, has a lot of investors, and their stock price hasn't been doing very well recently, so... Um, I'm going to assume that they're going to probably license this car to the gaming manufacturers to use and that's how they're going to probably make their money back on putting probably 30 or 40 people to create this car. Anyways, that's my thoughts. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.